yeah uh welcome in this video i want to show you how to apply for a Ugandan passport online so what you do you go to your phone computer open the browser and enter this url your passports.go.ug it will open from this interface yeah once you see this interface you come here on start new application so you click on start new application it opens from this disclaimer you accept you accept the disclaimer then you continue first thing you have to enter your phone number as you can see it has already a statics which means uh, that field is mandatory so then you enter uh, the security question you, if you have the email you can enter that email as well then here you enter the security question you can choose any of the security question and you just fill that yeah and when you are done you click save and continue you go to another a form of the applicant this one here uh, that form yeah that's why you choose the type of passport you want yeah and uh, place of submission and uh, correction when you're done with that you go to the applicant uh, under the applicant form you fill in your personal details like names uh district of residence district of origin uh your tribe yes when you are done you click save and continue here then it will take you to another form of uh, uh, citizenship you can select either you are citizen by birth or naturalization yes so uh, either citizenship by registration so you select any that fits that status uh, when you are done uh, sometimes you if under the applicant you chose that you are single you will not see this of spouse this form of spouse do not uh, appear but if you selected married then it will appear then you enter your spouse's details then here you enter your parents details your father mother's details uh, their status dead or alive uh, yes so you enter their information here then you, when you are done you click save and continue on this button then it will take you to next of kin details here you enter the next of kin uh, next of kin can be your mother father sister brother yes and uh, when you are done with that page then you enter your recommender uh, recommenders information yeah recommender can be someone uh, your boss uh, someone with a profession yes someone with a profession can be a doctor can be a nurse can be yes uh who recommend remember this person will write for you a letter so you don't just put any person this person needs to sign for you and write a letter so you must, this person should be aware when you are done you click save and continue it will take you to next form of payment you select the mode of payment do you want to pay online or you want to pay in the bank you select that through bank you choose uh, over the counter bank payment but here we are paying using a uh, mastercard or visa card so we shall select mastercard or visa card save and continue so payment portal and you continue proceed to pay as you can see it has opened uh, in your a payment portal so you click here you choose uh, the visa card or mastercard that you are using is a stand big or uba so let's say we are you have a stand big these are the only banks that are accepted their visa cards are accepted via your a payment 
an online payment yeah so let's say you have standbeak bank you choose standbeak bank and click uh, you click on uh, this accept or uh, discontinue yes continue button okay yes uh stand big payment gateway has taken it to stand big uh, payment gateway this is your prn payment registration number your name and the amount you're going to pay so you can verify your prn if everything is okay continue make payment yes here as you can see uh, it has brought you this it has taken you to this uh, page of payment uh, here you enter your name and email address such that once you pay uh, you will receive an email containing the details of your payment receipt yes so you see the charge tax at 2500 yeah that's what they will charge you so you uh you select the payment mode here if you are paying visa card like we are paying using visa card you can as well pay using mobile money but here we are paying using a visa card so you enter your card number here your cvv and expiry date then you confirm payment then money will be deducted from your bank and it will go to uh, uh it will go to ura then the payment is done yes once it's done you go back to the the previous page and you schedule appointment yeah so that is it you enter here your valid visa card three digit cvv yeah maybe if you are paying using mobile money you click on pay using mobile money yes then here you enter your number